on my way to participate in the INEX organized political stakeholders meeting at Adriana Hotel in Lokoja. I was attacked and harassed by the APC thugs. There were lots of policemen, there were over 500 men from the security agencies in different uniforms. I recognized SARS, the police, and civil defense, and many others. The place was heavily, um, how do I put it? There were a lot of military men around, and as I approached the hall, I saw some young men in Mufti. Obviously, they were thugs. Some of them had the GYB t-shirts on them. And then the first was, the, the, the first attack was a verbal assault. The man calling me a prostitute. He said, there comes the prostitute. Look at Natasha Ashewo, Natasha Ashewo, get out, you are not wanted here. And I smiled and kept on walking. As I approached the entrance of the door, and one of the thugs dragged, put, pulled at my handbag, and a policeman next to me just shoved it off him. And then another behind came and pushed me to the floor. And I tried to stand up. Maybe we should cut it off, I don't want to cry. Then I tried to stand. I try. I stood up. I stood up. I tried to get my balance, and they were all shouting, "That is GYB four by four. That what right did I have to contest? That I was not going to participate. I was not going to go into the hall. And this happened just outside the door. So as I stood up, I adjusted my clothes, and I tried walking towards the door." And some group, about five of these dogs, just ran in front of the door, holding on to the door. I said, no, she's not going to enter. We're not going to let her in. She's not welcome here. She's a prostitute. And then I looked at the faces. This, what hurts me most is Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, the commissioner of police. They were all in the hall, and they all heard. And none of them came out to stop her. They were also... I mean, right there outside, just beside me, opposite, on all sides were just the policemen holding guns. Not one of them stopped these dogs or came to my rescue. They were just booing at me. And I had to walk out. I didn't go, they just walked me out of the place. And I was in the car for a while. I called on the DSS, um, the director of DSS in Kogi State. And I told him what happened. He said he already knew. And that he was surprised why and disappointed. Why did none of the security agencies go to stop the talks? I even saw, let me tell you this, I even saw one of them wielding. He was trying to pull out a knife. He raised his shirt and put his hand in. I saw the shiny part of the blade right there in the middle of the police, the security agencies. I did not see the army. I know the army uniform, I didn't see, no, the army wasn't there. So I called the commissioner of police and I told him, sir, I was just attacked right outside the venue while you were in there. He said he's not aware of anything. Right, he just, he just feigned ignorance. And I kept on telling him, and he said he couldn't hear me and he cut off the line. That was the commissioner of police right there. So I still sat in the car and then I got to know that uh, one of my drivers was attacked as well because I went in my convoy and he's right now, he sustained uh, injuries in the head. So they've taken him to the hospital and one of my campaign vehicles was later vandalized because it talks when they chased me out, when they booed me, they walked towards and when they saw my vehicle, they attacked my vehicle. And then I'm also aware now that the SDP chairman of Kogi State too was beaten up. I don't know, but I was told that he was beaten up because he stood up at the venue and objected to the fact that the meeting was continuing, that if the meeting was one which was against violence and for the promotion of peace, then what happened out there to his own candidate was against the conduct of the meeting. And when he spoke, the next thing he stepped out of the hall 
and these same thugs lynched him right in front of the police and nobody did anything. So this brings a lot of worry and it raises the question again of security in Kogi State and how prepared are we for the elections that is just that are just the election that is just a few days away. If this can happen to me, a candidate, and we ask ourselves, and for Nigerians watching, this is real. I'm not just putting this up. Everybody witnessed what happened. Everyone witnessed what happened. And if we keep quiet in the face of this, then it can happen to anyone. Aya Bello is wrong. An APC cookie chapter is taking it too far. I mean, we have decent people. And these are people, we have decent people educated individuals who want to participate in politics for the advancement of our state. And they should, we shouldn't be treated this way.